So Uber's quarter two earnings report has been released, and the data from that report may actually be a little shocking. Uber Eats is now making more money for Uber than rideshare itself, but the data suggests that may not necessarily be a good thing. And in this video, we're gonna talk about why that is. So stay tuned. Hello everyone, this is Elijah with the Rideshare Guy. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the Uber earnings reports and the uh, important information or data that we've gotten from that report. The data in this report may be kind of shocking, but it could also reveal certain suspicions that you may have had about how things are running in the first place. So I remember signing up for Uber, as in rideshare, so UberX, doing like three or four trips, and uh, then other things start happening in my life, so I just kind of left it there. Then about a year later, I decided to revisit it, and then I started you know, playing around with it more, I started doing it more often. And then more often turned into part-time, then the full-time. And I did ride shares, pretty fun, pretty cool. And they were harassing me about, do you want to do Uber Eats? Do you want to do Uber Eats? So after probably about a month of them harassing me inside the app, if I wanted to do Uber Eats, I did it. And I enjoyed Uber Eats too. I heard rumors that Uber Eats was more profitable for Uber than Rideshare was. And I started thinking, Huh, that's uh, that's real interesting. I'm kind of curious like what the numbers are in that scenario. But even in the back of my mind, I was kind of just thinking that even though it might be more profitable, there's no way that Uber Eats would ever like under any circumstance actually make more money for Uber than Rideshare. Well, clearly I was wrong. And uh, this earnings report in quarter two by Uber is proof that I was wrong. We've heard a lot of stories about what sections of Uber are profitable or what sections are not profitable, but the data never lies. And we're gonna take a look at the key highlights of this earnings report based on the data that we see. So this information is coming from TechCrunch, so if you're looking for the original source, you can also click the link in the description below. So Uber Eats has officially passed UberX in terms of revenue that it's bringing in for the company. And that might not be a little too surprising, but let's talk about it. So why would Uber Eats pass UberX in terms of uh, revenue? Well, it has to do with the repercussions of the pandemic, which a lot of states are still facing. So a lot of people still don't feel comfortable to leave their home. So they're ordering food from these restaurants to get brought to them. You may be thinking, well, that's because of certain places are still on lockdown. And that's very well true. But even if the places aren't on lockdown, that doesn't mean that people still necessarily feel comfortable going out. So there's a growing just demand to have food delivered to them rather than going to the restaurant. And many of these restaurants, regardless of if there's a government lockdown in that area or not, they are still doing a drive through kind of setup to where you don't even go inside the restaurant anyway. So a lot of people are thinking, what's the point of going and getting it when I can just get it brought here? On the other side of the spectrum, you have Rideshare, which took a huge hit because people weren't getting out and going to uh, places they used to before, whether it be for work or for business or just to have a night out on the town. All those things have kind of came to a ceasing halt because either nothing is open or people and businesses are conducting work from their homes. So quite naturally, Rideshare took a huge hit too. So when you take those two things in consideration, you have Uber Eats, they had a certain level of volume, and yet Rideshare that was up here, they literally started going, they flipped gradually as the pandemic got worse and worse, and now we're here. It's also important to note that quarter two began right when the pandemic started to get very worse in America, so that had a lot to do with it also. So you may be thinking, Elijah, what are the numbers? I mean, it's one thing to say that Uber Eats is more profitable than UberX, but what are the actual numbers? So according to TechCrunch, Uber Eats as a service actually brought in $6.96 billion in revenue, while Rideshare brought in a $3.05 billion in revenue. Now, as of right now, we're talking about the total amount of money that was brought in. It's not adjusting anything. So those are the numbers as revenue was brought in. Now, when we look at those numbers in terms of adjusted net revenue, Uber Eats actually brought in $885 million in adjusted net revenue while Rideshare brought in an adjusted net revenue of $793 million. So by those numbers, Uber Eats is making more money for Uber than UberX. But one thing to keep in mind is we gotta take into consideration profit and loss. So something may be technically 
making a lot of money for a company, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's profitable. So when we take into account profit and loss, the net result that Uber Eats has had in terms of it affecting the company is actually a net loss of $232 million, while Rideshare has actually made Uber a profit of $50 million. So when we look at it in its totality, Uber Eats is actually becoming a big liability for Uber, while Rideshare or UberX is still technically profitable, even though it's bringing in less money for them. Now that's strictly when we're talking about solely rideshare and uh, delivery in terms of Uber Eats and UberX, but Uber as a whole has actually lost $1.8 billion in quarter two, which is pretty steep if I do say so myself. So what are the key takeaways that I see from this uh, earnings report? Well, it looks like the growing popularity in Uber Eats based on the pandemic kind of forced a demand, which the system that they have currently wasn't fully equipped for. And what I mean by that is, it's not profitable as it stands and putting more energy, more work, more uh, business into that avenue is just putting it on full display. So it's unprofitability keeps getting higher and higher and higher. And it's becoming more of a liability for the company. So that means that they need to find some way to make Uber Eats profitable because we don't know how long this pandemic is going to last. At the same time, rideshare earnings are very low because of the pandemic and we don't know how long that's going to last, so the earnings from Rideshare can't even really offset the loss that they're taking from Uber Eats. But I would like to pass this question on to you, the viewer. Are you actually surprised that Uber Eats is more profitable than uh, Rideshare? That's been going around the community for a while, but now we see the data is kind of backing it up. But what's different this time around is Uber Eats is actually making more money than Rideshare, but Rideshare is technically profitable while Uber Eats is not profitable. So it's making it a huge liability that the company is gonna to have to really look at and find some way to make it profitable. One thing as a driver I'm really concerned about is if Uber Eats isn't profitable and too many of their competitors disappear, will they start to increase rates on customers and will they decrease rates on us in order to get more profitable? We just saw Uber gobble up Postmates, so I find that a little concerning. How do y'all feel about that? Let us know in the comments below. In addition to these issues with Rideshare and Uber Eats, how do you feel that Uber has actually lost $1.8 billion in quarter two? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new, as well as hit that notification bell if you wanna stay up to date as far as rideshare and delivery news, as well as various strategies that you can use to be successful on the delivery and rideshare platforms. If you like this video, give it a like, it's much appreciated. I will catch you in the next video. Be safe and profitable, everyone.